Hello, this is Alex on Pangio Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the second week of May. LIG Next One and Hancom in space to start robotic muscular assistance business. LIG Next One has joined forces with Hancom in space, an affiliate of the Hancom Group, to make wearable muscular assistance robots widely available. LIG Next One announced on the 3rd that it has signed a memorandum of understanding with Hancom in space for the implementation and joint commercialization of Lexo technology at the Pangyo R&D Center in Gyeonggi-do on the 2nd. Lexo is a wearable robot that LIG Next One has been conducting research on and developing since 2010. There's the Lexo W, a non-motorized upper extremity muscle supporting wearable robot and the Lexo V, an ultra lightweight muscle assisted wearable robot that can be worn under one's clothes. These are the two main endeavors that the two companies have decided to focus on. The two robots do not have a driving device, so they are easy to use and easy to maintain. They also can provide services such as real-time location information and human data analysis in conjunction with the positioning module. Lexo W and Lexo V are being used on a trial basis for operational continuity in the defense sector and transportation of heavy goods in the public and private sectors. In order to expand the business, the two companies decided to cooperate with each other in sharing related patents and technical data, expanding marketing in the private and public sectors, and strengthening production and maintenance. LIG Next One CEO Kim Ji Chan said, as more and more attention has been drawn to preventing muscular skeletal disorders in workers due to the Serious Disaster Punishment Act that took effect this year, we are looking forward to growing demand in the future. And he added, we will be in active collaboration with Hancom in space to lead the future robotics market. For the second big story, neighbor webtoon Anna Samunara is to be unveiled on Netflix. Neighbor webtoon Anna Samunara will be produced as a drama and broadcast worldwide with Netflix. According to Netflix on the 6th, Netflix will release a drama that goes by the same name as the original webtoon in 190 countries. The story is about Yoon Ah Yi, a girl who had to grow up quick at a young age due to poverty, and Ri, a magician. It is one of the biggest works of Ha Il Gwan, who published the webtoons Sambong Barbershop, After School War Activities, and God of Bath. The series was produced as a six-part fantasy music drama with directing and screenplay by Kim Song Yoon of Love in the Moonlight and Discovery of Love, and Kim Min Jung of Love in the Moonlight. Previously, the webtoon Anna Sumanara was serialized in Neighbor's Monday webtoon from June 2010 to January of 2011. You can check it out on Neighbor Webtoon, Neighbor Series, and of course, PC. Up next, Hanwha Aerospace to ship the third engine of Nuri. Hanwha Aerospace announced on the 4th that it had held a 25-ton engine shipment ceremony for the Korean space launch vehicle Nuri at its Changwon site in Gyeongsangnam-do on the 2nd. Nuri's 75-ton class engine is South Korea's first space launch vehicle engine developed with its own technology and has even completed performance verification through flight tests. It is designed to withstand both liquid oxygen at minus 180 degrees and high temperature such as 3,300 degrees Celsius caused by combustion. As the space launch vehicle engine technology is rarely shared by space powerhouses such as the United States and Russia, the technological barriers are high and it poses significant economic burden as well. Hanhua Aerospace started supplying 75-ton class engines to Nuri in March of 2016 and manufactured and developed 46 engines including 34 75-ton class engines and 12 7-ton class engines. The engine that was shipped this time will be used for the third launch of the Nuri later on. The three stages of the Korean space launch vehicle Nuri will be equipped with a total of six engines, including four 75 class ton engines in the first stage, one 75 class ton engine in the second stage, and one seven ton engine in the third stage. And Hanwha Aerospace has produced all three engines. In the Nuri development project, the government has deployed 1.5 ton class practical satellites in low earth orbit. 600 to 800 kilometers above the surface of the Earth between 2010 and 2022. 300 companies will participate and just shy of 2 trillion won will be budgeted. 
Hanwha Aerospace is participating in the manufacture of engines, turbo pumps, valves, and establishing test facilities. Going forward, it will produce additional Nuri engines according to the Korean Space Launch Vehicle Advancement Project. CEO of Hanwha Aerospace, Shin hyun Woo said, We have been doing the space launch vehicle business since 1999. Someday, we will become an aerospace giant in the space business. And for our final big story, Nexon's new game DNF Duel revealed through a teaser video. Nexon Korea announced on the 6th that it had released an official teaser video ahead of the release of DNF Duel or Dungeon and Fighter Duel in South Korea and around the world. The teaser video released through the DNF Duel YouTube channel exudes intensity as it presents nine main characters giving its unique story and action scenes at a rapid pace. It also shows popular characters featured in the original Dungeon Fighter, including Berserker, Grappler, Inquisitor, Ranger, Hitman, Kuniochi, Crusader, Sword Devil, and Vanguard, raising expectations for the new work. In addition, the service was announced with the phrase available on June 28th on the console platform PlayStation, PlayStation 4 and 5, and the gaming distribution platform Stream, signaling that it will be launched soon. It plans to provide not only Korean users, but also global users in Japan, North America, and Europe with a sense of action and unique fun for a competitive fighting game. DNF Duel is a 2.5D graphic-based combat game using Dungeon and Fighter IP with 850 million global fans and is being jointly developed by a Japanese video game developer, Arc System Works and Neopole, known for their fighting games Guilty Gear and Blaz Blue. Moreover, it has been adopted as an official event for the first time in the Arc World Tour 2022, a global fighting game competition held by Arc System Works in the second half of this year. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. First up, we made to unveil We Mix Dollar Coin and Mainnet at a showcase on the 15th of next month. We made unveiled its schedule for a global showcase and a teaser page of WeMix 3.0 on the 6th. WeMix 3.0 will be unveiled through a global showcase at 9 a.m. Korea Standard Time on the 15th of next month. At the global showcase, detailed information on mainnet WeMix 3.0 and WeMix Dollar are also expected to be released. Mainnet's native coin, WeMix Dollar, is a stable coin used to utilize WeMix in various ecosystems. For the second quick news of the week, about pet of GS Retail to attract big neighbor investments. GS Retail announced on the 5th that about pet, a subsidiary of GS Retail, as well as a vertical pet e-commerce platform, has attracted 10 billion won of investments from neighbor. Third up, NHN Dure attracts 20 billion in investments. NHN Dure, an integrated collaboration solution corporation of NHN, announced on the 4th that it had attracted 20 billion won in investments from a private equity firm, HPE. This is NHN Dure's first external investment since it launched as an independent corporation on October 1st of last year. And that's it for the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. I'm Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.